Hey everyone, welcome. So today we're gonna to be diving into the crucial element of warm-up sets, which should be done in any resistance training program. Reason being, the body's just not ready to dive straight into your top performing weights. And you might not realize, but there could be some misalignments that you're not feeling at rest, that if you do try to, I'm gonna use the squat for an example today. Um, if you do try to dive straight into your heavier sets, are brought out and could even cause an injury. And they easily would have just been more rectified, but not only that, you're gonna have a better training session or get better sets out if you just did so a couple of warm-up sets. Here are our recommendations. Now, the main three points that we like to teach as to why you must complete some warm-up sets before going into the top sets that you're gonna be doing is we wanna increase blood flow around the body, especially to the working muscles and joints so that they're more prepared for the intensity that you're about to place on the body. Um, this also ignites your nervous system, gets it ready for the work ahead, which better prepares you again. More importantly on those things, it just helps you practice the movement, which goes into that misalignment thing that I said before. You might go, oh yeah, I've done squats a gazillion times, I'm fine. And then as you go down, you don't notice that your calf's tight, which causes a hip shift or, or your butt winks or something like that and puts pressure on your spine. So just practicing the movement with lighter sets like the barbell first and then scaling up will definitely allow you to, one, less likely to cause an injury, but two, allow you to identify any of those misalignments or movement things that aren't feeling too great. And then you can extend your warm up sort of work on those little issues before coming back to your top set and absolutely nailing it. What we would recommend in all of our programs, and keep in mind, this is for the general population following a resistance training program. If, for instance, you were like a power lifter working on your absolute maximal strength in like one to three reps, then these numbers would probably be different and the coach who specified your program will have some warm up set information in there. So this is not what you have to do, but we would definitely recommend at a minimum following these guidelines to just get a better session out. Uh, now, we, would, we always program at least one to three warm-up sets in all of your compound movements for strength training, and it would scale up like so. Up to 50% of the top weight that you're planning on using in set one of the warm-up set. However, I just get people to do 15 reps with the barbell only, because it's the perfect way to just practice the movement with a very light weight and get everything ready on there. Set two, up to 65% of the weight that you're planning to use. And on your third warm-up set, if it is a very heavy exercise, uh, we don't always plan a third warm-up set, but just for those heavier ones, it would go up to 75% of that working weight that you're planning on using pretty much between five to eight repetitions. And now my body is warmed up and I'm ready for my top sets right after I finish my rest period. Now, if tips like this are helping you with your workouts, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we will be posting many more of these to help you with your sessions.